Hello everybody and welcome back to Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town where today I think we might have pineapples. Let's have a look. Can have a look. Have we got pineapples? No, there might be one more day. But today I have my own little harvester drone. So they're gonna start harvesting for me. I wanna see you do that. Hey, look at you go! Look at you go, Aqua. Go on, harvest those those things. Oh, take a sleep, I, I suppose. You harvested a whole tomato. Now I want to know. Oh. oh, it's very loud in my ears. I need to turn these things up. Um, I do that every time when I'm editing. I need to turn them up, and then when I'm playing, I need to turn them down. I guess nothing is balanced on my computer because I'm technically challenged. <laughs> anyway. Well, I almost snorted then. That's terrible. I had a great auntie who snorted every time she laughed, and I and I I always worry that maybe I'm taking after her. It's, it's such it's such a terrible thing. So I think those are autumn seeds, those flowers. So I need to put them away, really. Let's give you a brush, and then we'll let all the other animals out for the day. I was quite a bit excited for my pineapples, but I think everything will probably happen on the same day. It'll probably happen all tomorrow. But today is the Moo Moo Festival. So I don't know when we need to pop down to the... Oh, I imagine it's in the square. In fact, we, we should go and have a look. But yeah, I don't know... I don't know what he does with the tomatoes. Like, does he give them to me? Does he put them in my in my cabinet, maybe? I'll have to have a check. They're not in there. Hmm. We'll have to see. Okay, so next thing I want to do is... Today is a Sunday... I will watch the education thing on the TV, sorry, the entertainment thing on the TV every day because I'm trying to find out. I know that we have um, a thing about cooking on a Tuesday. I will try to remember to watch the TV on a Tuesday. I'm not guaranteeing it. I'm not guaranteeing anything. Um, just, so you guys that want to read it, you can just slow down the video and you can read it. <laughs> the rest of you, like me, don't really care about that. I I'm playing a game, not reading a book right now, okay? So it's a Moo Moo Festival, and that is it from 10 a.m. in Rose Plaza. So we've got to wait a little bit longer. Actually, if I run there now... But yeah, I don't know how the harvesting works. I don't know if, if I get them put into my fridge or something. Oh, I hope it's not in my fridge. Oh, I've no idea. I've no idea what I've done. Am I going to lose all the money? Or does he put it straight into the storage bin? I don't know. I don't know how it works. Here's the Moo Moo Festival. Where's my cow? Where's Buttercup? So, we can have a chat to people. And I'll give um, Brandon... I've decided, kind of, almost decided at least, that Brandon is my my boy of choice. So, I'm going to try very hard to make sure I give him a present all the time. Every day if I can. Cows, hmm? I came because I thought they might give me some new kind of inspiration. And indeed, their slab-like design, the roughness of their hide, their spotty colouring, the empty eyes. Fascinating! Oh, I don't think I can give you a present while it's the festival. Okay, that's fine. We'll put that away then. Uh, what's Carter got to say? I'll chat to them though. Are you taking good care of your cow? If you don't shower it with love, it won't become the best cow it can be. Well, that cow is not going to be the best cow it can be anyway, because it's not bred by me. I'll be cheering you on, good luck. I'm not going to bother, like, get unless it, it carries on into the breeding, but I think really you just breed them up to ten and then you start, like, effect, giving them affection. I think that's my my, uh, my way. The cow from your farm looks splendid, she lab. Uh, hopefully. Which one is my cow? I don't even know which one is my cow. Hope you win. Oh, thanks, Popery. Hey, is a cow from your farm participating? She loud. Good luck. I hope you win. Oh, that's so nice to me. Oh, so your cow's participating too. Do you think you'll win? Your cow will do just fine. It's sure to win. Oh, everyone's so nice. A cow from your farm's going to be in it? Yeah, I'll cheer for you. Your cow looks real strong. Yay! Everyone likes my cow! Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. I don't think my cow's gonna do too well because it's only got like one heart with me at the moment. Mind if we get on with the judging. I'd like to pick the winning cow sometime soon, but here's a reminder before we do. Be sure to leave some space in your bag in case you win. We can't give you a trophy if your bag is full. Now then, are you ready? Hang on, let's just check my bag. So 
So my tool thing is, is full, but my bag is empty, so I think I'll be okay. I said the bag, not the tool thing. Okay, mind if we get on with the judging? Okay. Let's go. I don't think I'm going to win anyway, so... I don't know why I was worried about that. Hmm. Oh ho! Oh ho, I see! Mm. I think another cow will probably win this time. I don't think you're meant to win on the first year. Oh, the cows are so energetic! The Moo Moo Festival was a huge success! The Moo Moo Festival is now over. Festival organisers will bring the entered cows back to their homes, so owners should go on ahead and return. I repeat, the Moo Moo Festival is now over. What? So who won? Is something going wrong with my festivals, or...? Like... I'm a bit confused there, because the same thing happened with the, the pet festival. So it's almost like a cutscene was supposed to come in, but it didn't. Hmm. That's so weird. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm just going to check that that whole bug with the... Um, Because I'm a little worried this is going to happen every time now. Is it to, maybe to do with, with a bug? Or is it just that, like, because my cow didn't win? But that's so weird because that happened with the other festival as well. It's like there was meant to be a cutscene. And there wasn't. Please do let me know. If you guys have had the Moo Moo Festival and that didn't happen to you, let me know. Because something's going, possibly going a little bit odd here, and I want to, I want to know if it is. Okay. But anyway. Because, like, that could really mess my game up. That could be, like, marriage ceremonies being missed and all sorts. Like, I don't really mind there's some cow festival where my cow didn't win. Okay, whatever. But I'm slightly concerned by that. Because the cooking festival was the last one that really seemed to work well. Let me just go and have a look in the in the thing. In my in my house. The cooking festival, we got a proper cutscene for that. So the cluck cluck clash we we had that properly. The fetch fest was was bad. That didn't work well. We had a cutscene for the cooking festival. But it seems like the cooking the cutscene for the Moo Moo Festival may have gone slightly wrong. It like went black as if it was supposed to be a cutscene and then just went through. One thing I want to check is, I'm going to just check in the books here. I want to check that... Yeah, it's properly going through that, so it's not like I've got that click out bug anymore. Hmm. Well, I'll keep going and um, as I say, let me know if that's happened to you or not, blah 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 in the comments and uh, if there is a, a wee bug or something then I, I don't know, I may have to play back through or something, I, I'm not sure. It's going to be hard to play exactly the same way though, so I hope it's not bugged. Right, my harvesting little dude clearly didn't uh, manage to get through everything, so I'm just going to harvest it all myself he did a good job but there was a lot to do so I'll just get the rest of this so I'm imagining that they're just putting it straight into the shipping bin because I haven't seen hide nor hair of these vegetables that they've uh, harvested so I would like to know actually where they are <laughs> that would be quite good Oh, there's so much harvesting to do today. There's loads by the seams of it. So one harvester was not enough for all of this. At all. So I'll just har do harvesting rather than picking up weeds. It's fine. I don't seem to have any more money than I had at the start of the day either. So that says to me that it didn't, it didn't go in the shipping bin. Or if it did, it went in the shipping bin after, after time. So let's 
Let's have a little look in my cabinet and stuff, just in case it's gone in there. But they can't put food in my cabinet, so I'm really confused as to where all of that produce has gone. And I'm slightly concerned now that my pineapples are going to ripen tomorrow. I'm going to have to just harvest them before they get to them, because I can't risk my pineapples going missing. It's time for the birth! A chick has hatched, so I better give it a name. What name would you like? Um, so we had Jin, we had Trist. I think Ixius was next. My family just got a little bit bigger. I have to keep working hard to take good care of everyone. Whose birthday tomorrow? Kai's birthday. That's the guy with the purple hat down on the beach. I'll have to go give him something tomorrow. How are we doing with my house? I think tomorrow might be the day that my house is ready. I think today maybe the pineapples are ready. Yes, they are. Right, I'm harvesting these. Don't even start on them, please. They're mine. No! Get off my pineapples! No, get off my pineapples! Genuinely, get off them. Until you can tell me where you're actually putting my produce, you're getting off my pineapples. Right. I've got eight out of the nine. They're worth 500 each. So, yeah. You are not getting any of them. That's like 4,000 worth of pineapples. Until I know. Until I know where you're putting my produce. So we'll know today, when Cliff comes to the thing, if they're being put into the shipping bin straight away. And if that's the case, that's fine. If it goes up by more than 4,000, I won't put anything else in today. If it goes up by more than 4,000, if that doesn't happen, then... Oh, no, because there's all the stuff from the... I just don't know what's happening with it. Whether it might go into the fridge, whether it's going into the shipping bin. I don't like having a harvester anymore. Aqua, stop after the day, please. I need to work out what's going on with it. I'm not happy with this at all. Like, like I've got all these, all this produce I worked so hard to, to get, and now I feel like I'm having to race my harvester for them just in case, like, they're going missing somewhere. Ah. Uh. Like, I mean, maybe it's that, that you're supposed to have a fridge before someone helps you with the harvesting. Or maybe it just does go into the bin. I, I don't know. I'm not happy, though. I could follow Aqua and see if he goes to the... It doesn't look like talking to him does anything. I don't think, anyway... Does he go up to the little shipping bin and put stuff in, or...? I'm gonna assume that it wouldn't just, like, throw my stuff into a black hole, but... I'm a little worried. Lisa saved the pineapples. They're such a good crop. Amazing. Like, I should have planted more. Yeah, it's a thousand, and you get four thousand per harvest back. It was a thousand to plant them, so I made three thousand profit off each one. Although, I probably think, like, with the, the bigger harvests, maybe make more profit, but maybe, like, if you don't want to do too much work. You just look after, like, three or four pineapple fields and then, you know, just leave them to it. I wish I could work out, but I, I think it was something like... I don't even remember how much... A couple of thousand worth of, um... Of corn went in.
Okay, so now we have Ixius. I'm wondering whether we should get rid of Jin. Or tr no, it's Trist, isn't it? Where is Trist? Why are you still in there, weirdo? Come outside. So if I have a little look, then what I'm hoping is that um, we now have a nine heart Ixius. Yes, we do. So, once nine heart Ixius is uh, grown up, then we'll start making the 10, star, 10 heart chickens and then I can really start going for them, which will be really nice. Um, I'd like to find Brandon if I can, to give him some honey, because as I say, I'm going to try really hard to make good friends with him. But yeah, I feel a little bit nervous about the whole harvesting thing. I'm going to maybe go and look up what happens when the sprites harvest and see what happens there. And I'll also look up um, if anyone else is having trouble with like cutscenes and if that is something that, that did get missed or whether it's only if you win. Because I entered a cow. Like, I thought with the pet thing that it would be because the pet... The pet was sort of... Um, oh, sorry. Gone. I didn't have a pet yet, so there was nothing for me to enter. And but I was really confused. I was like, why am I not seeing a, a lovely cutscene of, of them all sort of having a fun time and whatever the pets do to compete and like catching frisbees and whatever it is. Okay, I've suddenly got eighteen thousand. Yeah, you put it straight in my shipping bin, didn't you, Aqua? That's fine stick these tomatoes and weeds and stuff in that's yeah there, there's no way i would have made eighteen thousand just off the corn and stuff so yeah it might it might be delayed by a day possibly um but they're definitely the, the harvesters are definitely putting it in my shipping bin so that's fine i'm i'm happy with that <laughs> okay so we've got lots of money now which is nice that's another thousand that we're going to be getting there the summer is definitely, it's like in Stardew Valley, the summer is definitely the day where, the, the season where you make the most money, isn't it? You know, you don't make much in the spring and then you, you, you can really sort of uh, level up. So the grass is growing beautifully. I'm just sort of waiting for it to go over here a bit more and I'll probably will, like, as I said, get rid of some of this here and just push the whole thing over because it's a lot of space being taken up. However, I've got as much space as I need, so should be fine. The only thing that's really holding me back right now, I think, is, uh, is the mines at the moment. But yeah, there's a little worry at the back. It's going to keep worrying me because I'm the sort of person that can't stop worrying, so I'm going to be worrying now, like, that my get my entire game is bugged and I've done, like, you know, 15 hours worth of work on this and, well, probably more than that and that like now I'm going to have to restart my save or something because the save is bugged. So that's a slight worry for me. But we'll keep going and we'll see. I made 13,000 in crops. So we're doing well for money if nothing else. Um, I'm kind of hoping that today we'll have a kitchen. What? No! I'm glad the pineapples got harvested. Oh, I hope it doesn't land like a rock on my pineapples. I will be so annoyed. Well, I guess. Bye. I was going to try and impregnate my cow today as well. Can I go outside today? Is it still windy? It looks like it's sunny today. Cool. Ugh. And what day is it now? Wednesday. Oh, I should have watched my TV. Darn it. All right. It looks like one more day. One more day of stuff, right? If we got an, we've got the fireworks festival coming up, and that is going to be tomorrow. Okay. We missed Kai's birthday because it was too windy to go out. Can't be helped. That cannot be helped. Okay, so I told my harvester to go home yesterday, so I guess I'm harvesting myself today. <laughs> But I, yeah, so the harvester will put thing, things straight into the shipping bin. Um, I don't know whether once you have a fridge, they'll start to put it into your fridge so that you can decide what to do with your stuff. But um, we'll, I'll maybe like get them to harvest for a day just to just to check that out once I have the, uh, the house upgrade. Um, but if not, and you do want to keep things for cooking. Now I want, I want the lumber from this. Why do I not have anything in my toolbox that I need? Uh, that might be the thing to get next then. 
I've got a lot of money. So I think, yeah, we'll go and get a bigger backpack. Okay, so I'm going to get my... Oh, I need to pick up my axe. Yeah, because I got it upgraded, didn't I? So we'll go get that from the place. But first, we'll go to the general store and get a backpack. Because that opens at, what, nine or something, I think? Because you can never have a big enough backpack. Ever. Hello! The fireworks festival is almost here. Fireworks and summer go hand in hand, wouldn't you say? Yes. I do have quite a lot of different saves going all the way back, so um, I, I don't, I've never actually saved over a save. So we may be able to go back to one to when I know that everything worked with the festivals. If the fireworks festival goes wrong, um, then I will say that the game is probably bugged at that point. Welcome! You're welcome too. But I'll have a look. Oh, 5,000 for a big bag. I've got plenty of money for that. 24 item capacity and 12 tools. So I think if I look here, that, that, that might be the maximum size I've got now. Yeah, that looks like maximum size. And if I look at my tool belt, that looks to be at, at maximum size as well. So I've got the maximum amount of tools, the maximum amount of bag space now which is pretty cool and that was five thousand that <laughs> i'm making loads of money it's great <laughs> hello yoshi lab don't push yourself too hard you hear me i'm not pushing myself too hard this game I, I as far as i'm led to believe doesn't have a time limit on it unlike some other things so you can just be really chill if you want which is very nice i'm sure i'll fill this bag in no time so if you don't want to do things one year, you can do them the next year instead. <clears throat> so I'm kind of thinking, well, there's a few things I could do. I'm going to just wait and see what I want to do with all this money. I think I want to expand my livestock, but I'm going to have a think about what I want to do. Whether I want to get a new bunny or new sheep. I could probably get all of it. Maybe next episode we'll do that. The copper axe is finished. Take it home with you. Yay! So we can spend the rest of the time... Oh. <clears throat> Ack! No! What? This cutscene works fine. Wait, Chicky! Come back! You aren't supposed to leave our land! Oh no! <laughs> he ran away! I mean, your gate is basically open. That's like really dumb for uh, people that keep chickens. I mean, my ferrets, they'd be gone right now. They'd be out of there. Hello, Sheilab. Thank you for catching her. You're welcome. I only took my eyes off her for a second, but that's all sneaky little chicky needed to get past the fence. She's so fast, I have a hard time catching her. She always barrels off at full speed. Worried she I worry she'll get hurt. Aww. Say, Shelab, do you like chickens? Yeah, who doesn't? Really? I just knew you seemed like the chicken-loving type. I'm totally smitten with chickens. Love heart. And as Papa always said, a heart with room for chickens is a heart full of love. <clears throat> Anyway, I better take Chicky back home before she can get into any more mischief. If you ever have anything you want to ask about chickens, come visit us, okay? Okay. Come on, Chicky, it's time to go home. Follow me, okay? Good girl. <laughs> Aww. Silly Chicky. That was so cute. Love it. Right, what was I doing? I have no idea. What oh yeah, I was going to take my axe back home. I'm going to chop up some tree stumps with it. Yes. I do need to go into the mines. I've got heart old tomatoes to harvest as well. And then I need to go into the mines and try my best. Oh, it didn't It didn't get the pineapples, guys. Hurrah! Oh, no. Oh, phew, they are here. Okay. I need to check. I think I only have... Oh, all seven of them are here. Fine. I was like, oh my goodness. I haven't checked the Nature Sprites contract in ages. Oh, how long have they got left? Four days, one day, one day, one day, one day. And Aqua's got nothing to do. Right, I'm going to go actually and ask... Um, I'll chuck the stuff... Oh, well, there's another one to get some more to harvest there. Well, it's all a bit random now, eh? 
what they can and can't harvest. And weeds and stuff everywhere. What a nightmare. Doesn't seem like there was a huge amount of damage though. Um, no, I'm really lucky. The wind didn't actually damage anything. Last time there was loads of rocks and stuff that took out a whole bunch of stuff. But no, I'm lucky this time it just deposited a load of sticks and stuff everywhere, which is really nice. And some rocks I can bash and stuff like that. I can get some more lumber and things like that. Uh, I can't wait for my house upgrade. I'm. It does make me feel a little bit better that that cutscene did cut in. So I'm like, at least the, the storyline ones all work. This seems to be possibly something up with festivals, but again, it might just be that my cow didn't win. Oh, hang on, if I hammer those, I'll get that masonry stuff. Can I drop them back on the ground? <laughs> I can indeed drop them back on the ground. So, yeah, if I've got any sticks. So I suppose the people that were saying, oh man, you could have done made lumber with the sticks. Basically, what I could have done, just for those of you, you know, so that you know, you can get lumber like that by splitting them when they're on the ground. So that's how you get lumber. And then if you whack uh, the stones with your hammer, you'll get the masonry stuff. So that's how you get them. I didn't know that to start with. It was something I kind of, kind of found out when I... No, I don't get nothing for you today you can get to the lake mine in winter and there's rare stuff in there I will be going there as soon as it is winter I definitely I'm kind of thinking that one thing I might be able to get with my newfound money is um, like one of the fla fruit flavoured cows that might be really cool to have But I think the one, probably one of the reasons that this is not so much of a time limited one is that, um, well, as far as I know, unless it like chucks me something that I is really out of dodge. But I think one of the reasons is that, let's just do all of the wood first, actually. One of the reasons is that because with the whole breeding thing, it takes a long time to get, it's going to take a long time to get, like if it's going to take three weeks, for a cow pregnancy that's almost an entire season of a year just for one breeding cycle so i think the breeding cycles are due to last quite a few years i don't know how far i'll get with everything i think the the chickens because it's only a couple of days i'll be re i'll be through that pretty fast um talking about that i want to actually get out the breeding kit now that moo moo festival is over i want to get out the breeding kit boop May as well have my watering can in there as well, actually. And may as well not have seeds for the wrong um, time of year as well. So I've got a couple of seeds already for the autumn time, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to take my my breeding kit for the cow. Uh, I'm going to go in here. I haven't been milking you or anything lately. It's been a bit rubbish, hasn't it? I'm so sorry. Um, I should have a milker on me. Let's talk and brush and... Where's my brush? There's my brush. Where's my milker gone? I'm sure that was in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Done the milk. Oh, there wasn't any milk today. Why not? Were you... Oh, okay. Did I forget to feed you or let you outside? I'm so sorry, Buttercup. No milk today. So that's telling me there is no milk today. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I may need to go and feed Tristan Ixius because like, the, the less I feed them, the longer it takes them to grow up. And them growing up is all I care about at the moment. I don't really care about eggs or anything like that. I care about how fast they grow up. So, okay, let's chuck some stuff in the bin. Ugh. Today has been a bit of a roller coaster of emotions, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm not going to sell the lumber and stuff. I'm going to start saving that in my box. So sell all of those. And put those away. 
And I'll throw that stick and that stone on the ground. Um, also, the, the copper can go away for now. And I'll put the... Yeah, I'll put those on the ground and I'll pick... I'll, I'll properly pick them back up later. So let's just find a spare bit of ground and I can put them down on that. And I'm just going to basically go around probably tomorrow with the axe and everything and just totally, like... Make make lumber and stuff out of everything. So yeah, I've, I've learned my lesson on that one now. Sorry guys. You're good to get this place nice and clear. Hurrah! Lots of lumber for me. So I think we will get the fireworks festival in this episode as well. It's, it's a good episode for cut the scenes actually. For uh, for festivals and... I don't know why every so often they're just like... Is it maybe I'm halfway through my stamina? They do a little head shake? I don't think I have enough salmon for any more of those big stumps. Uh, I'll do a little bit of picking up of weeds and stuff like that. I, obviously the storm has made everything a bit messy and I'm not happy with that. I like a tidy farm and a tidy house. Not that it happens all the time, but I like it to be that way. So we've got a couple of stones and a stick on the ground. We've got one, two, three, four, five more little stumps that I can still pick up. And one stone that I can pick up. The rest need a bit of a... Oh, and there's some weeds and stuff in between the, the things over there. In between the um, the beds over there. And also, I kind of need to scythe up the grass a little bit and tidy it up and neaten it. And I'd love to get rid of that rock in the middle, but that's going to be a bit of a higher level, I think. So, yeah, I think at that point, I'll have a, a whole stripe. I'll bring my mouse in here. A whole stripe of... um. Yeah, and, and, and all the way down there, I think, as well. I think that will just miss that. So what I could do is get rid of these two and just have, like, that be a border. And then I can effectively have a nice uh, triple row of little 3x3s. Three Someone said, oh, you don't need to leave gaps between them. And I'm going to say this. It's an aesthetic preference. And if I do find that I'm running out of room, that's great. But at the moment, I'm using a third of my field. Why the heck would I want to bunch them all up? That was just dumb. This helps me separate everything out, know what's growing everywhere. It looks nice. I'm super happy with it. Okay. Oh, there's an egg for me to pick up, apparently. I'll do that quickly. Oh, man, that's so late now. <laughs> Terrible. Okay, so tomorrow I should have a kitchen, I reckon. And then we can start cooking, which is a whole other aspect of the game, which I'm really looking forward to, you see. So far we can make raisin bread and something that the sprite told us that we... One of the sprites told us that we could make. I've made no money today, but that's cool. I've got a lot of money. It's fine. Oh, it looks like Gots is done with his work. Let's have a look. Oh, look, I got a little kitchen now. Oh, so good. To cook food in the kitchen, you need a recipe and ingredients. Some recipes require certain utensils too. Recipes can be learned from townsfolk or just by watching TV. Recipes can sometimes also be learned by just combining the right ingredients. Once you have a recipe, you'll need the required ingredients and utensils to cook the food. Recipes can be set to use ingredients starting at lowest quality or highest quality first. Lovely. Recipe list. At the moment, I can make a yam dessert from yams. Raisin bread from grapes and um, mixing grapes into dough and baking it. Oh, okay, so you don't just like ram the fruit... <laughs> fruit into the cooked bread like it sounded like on the recipe. Sashimi, a dish of sl uh, thinly sliced fresh fish can be eaten but not shipped. So that really is the take. That's it, It's always traditionally been the thing you take down the mine and eat but it really really is now. Zaru Soba, a simple noodle dish made from buckwheat flour can be eaten but are not shipped. Okay. Oh, so all of these can be eaten but not shipped. Interesting. So you want to ship your crops and eat your food, probably. 
There's nothing I can make right now. The one thing that I really wanted that I don't seem to have here is a fridge. So, of course, I'm going to head down the carpenters and uh, sort that out. I'll just do harvesting because uh, I, I got so paranoid about the harvesting. Oh, I need to check when this fireworks festival is and where I need to be. Probably at the point at the top. Mineral beach. Oh, it's at the beach. Okay. At 6 p.m. I've got to remember to go somewhere at 6 p.m. Great. <laughs> I'm much better with remembering to go places in the morning than I am in the evening. It's, some, it's something I um, I always say about my YouTubing and stuff, is that if I do something, and exercise as well, if I do something first thing in the morning, the first thing I do in the morning is always the thing that will get done. So if I have something that I need to prioritise, that will be the first thing I do. The second thing, probably get done. The third thing on the, on the list, maybe get done. The fourth thing, possibly not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it gets slowly more improbable that that thing is going to get done the later on in the day and the further through my queue it is. So, like, say, if I've got someone coming to the house and I need to tidy up, then I need to do that first thing. It's a little bit of an energy thing as well. The more energy I have um, earlier in the day, the better that is. So. Oh, I keep picking up the rocks. I need to be um, hitting them with the hammer, not picking them up. It's fine though, I can put them back down on the ground. That's the thing as well I didn't realise, you can just put them back down and smash them with a hammer that way. So I can just chill out and harvest my crops for the daytime. And it's so much easier now because I've got such a bigger bag. Oh, so good. Oh, it's okay. Keep up the good work. Keep going. I wonder how they're doing for like their actual, because they've been watering for a little while, have they been, yeah, they're, they're starting to get a little bit better at their watering, particularly uh, Blueberry and Aqua, they seem to be doing really well. Just let them keep watering I guess, and again, like, I think that that, that whole thing, the, the, the speed at which they, they're getting their EXP for watering and stuff like that. That doesn't seem like something that would get done just within a year or two. That seems like it's gonna it'd be a multi-year project, that one. And probably after like the first year or so of this, I may stop doing two a day because there's gonna be gonna be other things I wanna put on the channel and it gets more difficult the more stuff you're trying to squidge in. Um, but I'm gonna try and start squidging in some other stuff. My bag is full. I filled it with. Oh, look at all this awesome stuff I've got to fill it with. Ah, oh, so cool. Like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of crops. So many crops. Sell the egg. I can't be bothered going to the hot spring. I know, I'm bad. I'm very lazy. Four thousand three hundred just on one bag full. I haven't even finished harvesting. I'm so rich, it's great. And I can only imagine this is going to get better the better my tools get and things. Like when I can just like stand there, I can just maybe do a feel because I know that the sprites go from left to right and from top to bottom. So what I can do is I can put like some little fields for them to water. Um, for a certain amount and then the rest of the field I know that I've got to water each day but I'll do it with my massive watering can so at that point I'm gonna have so much to do or I might even just go around with my massive watering can and get these guys to harvest that might be something that happens after a while because I have to harvest everything individually so if I have a watering can that can do like a 9x9 nine nine area I'll just have these massive 9x9 nine nine fields and I'll have these guys just walking around harvesting everything and I'll just go psh, 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 like water things like five times and they're done. <laughs> That'd be great. But that's going to probably be quite end game. <laughs> All these plans I have, but the first thing I need to actually do is get into those mines and actually start getting down there. But fishing is going to be an important thing because what I want to do is get myself lots of sashimi and then I'll take a whole day just going down into the mines and I will try and find all the ladders and stuff. Now that never really gets easier. 
time-wise, I don't really know how you would get down there, like, in that amount of time. Whether you get to a certain point, and I'll have to explore to find this out. Whether you get to a certain point and you're allowed a permanent ladder down or something like that, I don't know. You know, whether the carpenter could help you out with that. I, I'll find that out. Like, whether there's some way of... Oh, Sunny, you're so cute. No, I'm trying to harvest corn over here. I do actually want to talk to you a million times, thanks. I should really give them some more presents. And I should really check on the birthdays too. I'm terrible for that. At the moment though, like, it's not my focus. Social is not my focus. So if I happen to see that someone's got a birthday, if I happen to run into someone, give them a present, I'll try and give Brandon as many presents as I can if I see him about. I do want to get like to know him quite well. Okay, harvesting is done. It's a festival day. Usually they don't have a birthday on a festival day. So tomorrow it's Thomas's birthday. Oh, that's the mayor. Okay, we'll take him some honey or something. Fairly simple things right now. I don't. I can't really cook very well. I can't make those nice necklaces and brooches yet. Oh, it was really good to have them um, for the two birthdays that I did manage to get them for with my tokens from the horse race. That was really good. Come on. Get that honey. Right. Let's throw these in. I've got nothing I can do with corn yet in my house, so we'll just do this. Another 4,000! Yay! I'm so rich. Right, so next episode, we're definitely going to want to just go uh, up. Oh, it's, it's time. It's time. Let's go. Mineral Beach right now. Go, 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 go. So we'll do this festival, and then I'll probably afterwards probably go straight to bed. I'm hoping that it plays properly. It's a shame that I have to worry about that. Here we are. Hello, good evening. I think the fireworks display is about to begin. Oh, good evening. The sky's beautiful tonight now. So crisp and clear. We should have a lovely show. So if this doesn't work, then I know there's a problem. Let's see. Woohoo! The fireworks show is going to be great. They always set off a whole bunch at once at the end. It's going to be amazing. There's some I like fireworks on the beach. They hold this festival every year. I never get tired of it. This town puts on a way better show than a lot of other places I know. Who's going to start the fireworks, though? Cliff? Ram? I'll wait for the show to start. I like the fireworks a lot. My old hometown used to have these kinds of displays. Woohoo! The fireworks show's going to be great. They always set off a whole bunch at once at the end. Oh, sorry, at the end. It's going to be amazing. Oh. Well, when's it going to start, then? Summer's just the best. There's the fireworks festival to look forward to and lots of good food too. I come here every year for the fireworks. Oops. When I was little, my whole family would come and we'd make a day out of it. Back then, it all seemed so much bigger to me. Can't get down the pier. It hasn't moved from 7.20. I've been awaiting tonight's events with great anticipation for days now. Has it not begun yet? When will the displays get underway? Do I have to talk to someone? Oh, there's some purple flowers down here. Nice. Um, good evening, she lab. I'm so pleased. Uh, so sorry. I'm so glad you made it in time for the fireworks show. Oh, hi, she lab. I've been looking forward to tonight all day. Is the show going to start soon? I can't wait. Well, I, I don't get it. Right, who have I spoken to? Like, everyone. Great. Every year, Grandpa makes the cylinders used for the fireworks. There's no way to see them from here. But every year, he tells me to watch them closely. I don't get it. Oh, 
Right, I've spoken to you. I've spoken to Cliff, I've spoken to Ran, I've spoken to the Doctor. Oh, here we are. Mineral Town's fireworks festival is particularly lovely. I suggest you get comfortable and prepare to be wowed. Oh, thank goodness it worked. Okay, cool. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I'm also so happy that the cutscene worked. Ah, watching fireworks from the beach is the best. It just feels so magical. Oh, that was awesome. It was wonderful and I'm... I'm super pleased it worked. I think the pet one and the cow one, maybe just because of the, the pets and the cows, I didn't win. And also the, 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 the pet festival, I didn't have a pet. Maybe that was something to do with it. But I, I, I'm going to keep continue playing and we'll see if anything else of that ilk happens. But, oh, what a beautiful firework festival. It's so nice. And I have a kitchen now and everything. And it's such a cool day. Me and my kitchen. La, 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 la. <laughs> Oh, I'm so, so happy. Super happy. Anyway, I think that uh, it is now, oh, it's 6am on the next day. So as soon as the fireworks happened, it was like, next day. So I'm glad I got everything done that I needed to get done. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I still maybe haven't quite <laughs> remembered to make the cow pregnant. So we'll do that next time too. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you would like to see more Friends of Mineral Town, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.